What's up everybody, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make custom combo strings. So, I've got my character in so far. Now, I've got it so she moves around, she can run and stuff like that, but what I'm mainly going to be talking about today is how to set up an actual combo string. So I've got a melee punch combo set right here, and then after a couple seconds, she'll go back to just throwing you wait two seconds she'll go back to just throwing the first punch so the combo string resets and it's not constantly set so that uh, you're doing the different attacks so it's actually pretty simple what you're gonna want to do is go down to mixamo.com and download all of the animations that you want for your characters so as you see punch combo one two three four and five so find your animations whatever you decide is best and then download those real quick import those in for your character Step two is going to be to go up to your settings and then go to your project settings. Come down here to engine. Come to the input tab. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to hit this little add button next to the action mapping. And it's going to create a new action mapping down here. And what you're going to want to do, I already have it done, but what you're going to want to do is name it punch string. And you're going to set it to the left mouse button. So what you're going to want to do is come down to the content drawer down here and open it up and you're going to want to find whatever character you're using so the character that I'm using currently is the third person character and you're just going to open up that blueprint now I know at first this looks a lot this looks like a lot it looks a little intimidating and down here you're going to see all these different things but don't worry about all that don't worry about all this the only thing that we're going to be focusing on is this whole string of blueprints right here that's all you're going to need and on the variable side all you're gonna need is the attack count create a new variable call it attack count make it an integer and then what you're gonna wanna do is making is punching variable question mark and make sure it's a boolean alright so basically what this is doing is you created that input in your uh, project settings called punch string so whenever it's pressed which means whenever it presses the left click it's going to do the action once so you just right click create do action set up all this branch it out and what this is is character movement so you just right click type in character movement And then come down here, click get character movement, type is falling, connect that. Basically what this is doing is checking to make sure that the character is not falling. And then you're going to branch it again off the false key. And then you're going to check that is punching variable. You're going to get that variable, plug it into the condition. That's going to check to make sure the character is not already punching. And if it's false, you're going to disable the movement and then play montage down here. So for the disable movement the target is the character movement. Basically what this is doing is whenever it makes sure it makes sure first that the character is not falling and then it makes sure that the character is not punching and it'll disable the movement for a second and then it'll play this montage. Now what you're gonna wanna do is go to your content drawer that you have all your animations in uh, this is going to be this one and what you're going to do is take all of your animations animation sequences right click all of them come up here to create and click create and a montage and it'll create a montage for all of your punch sequences and so down here on play montage what you're going to do is take your mesh from up here drag it in hook it up to the in skeletal mesh component and then right click type in select it'll bring this up now depending on how many combos or how many uh, punches you have in your combo whatever you click this little add pin button and you can increase it to match the amount of punches you have in your combo string and so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the attack count integer drop that right here click get attack count and then we're gonna drop a percentage a percent integer and set that to the number of attacks in your combo 
Sorry, I couldn't get that word out for some reason. <laughs> all right, hook this all up, plug in the disable movement, hook everything up. So after you've finished your play montage, now what you do is you drag off the pin, and you're going to type in, right click, type in increment integer, and you'll drop this down here, and then add the attack count here. So basically, this all this is doing is setting your attack count integer up one for every action. And what you're going to do is drop a delay here directly afterwards. What this is going to do is this is going to disable your character's movement until you've played the attack. And then it's going to stop that delay. And then, or it's going to delay for another second after that attack is finished. And then it's going to basically set your character back to walking. So you're going to right click over here, click set movement, or type in set movement mode click set movement mode to walking and then off of the execute drag in the is punching variable and click set and make sure that it is false then what you're gonna do is drag and create a sequencer down here and plug this in and then from 0 to 1 you're gonna create another delay this delay is going to be for the attack reset this will make it so that if you're doing sword swing combos that are set to only be three and you don't want to have them constantly playing the next attack in the combo string even though they've stopped and moved on somewhere else in the map this will make it so the first time you click it it'll set out the first string after two seconds it'll always set out the first string click attack count zero and then from the zero you're gonna drag it all the way back and you're going to plug it into the reset of the do once. And that is pretty much it. I know that I didn't really explain it that well. I've been messing around with this program for almost about a week. I'm figuring out the ins and outs of it, but I just wanted to show that to people um, and kind of go over how I did it and how I splice things together. This is just a simple melee combo string and you can also do the exact same thing, set it to the right click for a kick string if you wanted to, switch up the button input, add in different animations. All you got to do is just copy and paste a couple things up and plug in your animations. You can get all the different animations off of Mixamo.com. But yeah, I'm learning slowly but surely. Uh, I want to be able to at least make a full game by the end of the month, but I'm learning bit by bit, piece by piece. And uh, now I've got myself a little melee, melee combo string. I'll catch you guys later.